So you got a, a huge uh, Indian student community that's here. Welcome to iSchool and thank you for joining us. Good uh, we're going to see the College of Sciences, College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Uh, we'll also see the College of Engineering, College of Business, uh, the library, uh, uh, residence hall, um, and also the gym. Fantastic. Let's get on it then. Right. And what building are we at? So this is Herman Hall. This is the home of the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, and this floor is usually English classes, the second floor is usually computer science classes, and the third floor is usually math classes. It doesn't have to be that specific thing, but that's just where it usually is. Um, on this floor, we also have the English Writing Center, so down the hallway, they can help you with any essays that you need to write, um, any, and just literally any, any English problems you may have on homework or um, projects or anything like that, they can help you with. They have drop-in tutoring and by appointment, so you can set up a, a time that you can meet with them every week. Um, and then down the other end of the hallway is student accessibility services. So if you have an IEP plan, let's say, um, you can get that transferred here. They can help you with um, accessible housing accommodations. Um, they can also help you, like if you break your hand, they can sign you a note taker. Um, so you have to miss classes for an extended period of time. Um, on the second floor is the Dean Suite. So that's where you go if you have any issues with, uh, if you are part of the College of Arts and Sciences, you know, any, any problems that you need to resolve, you can go in there. Um, the third floor in the math wing of the building is the math center. Um, they also have drop-in and by appointment tutoring and all the students in there have an A in their classes. So they'll try and match you with somebody if you do need help um, that's taking a class that you're in so you can get proper uh, attention. But yeah, one of the unique things we have here, we only have 2,500 undergrad students. Um, so the maximum class size we have is 30 students. Uh, and then after freshman year, we try and cap it at 22 students in the class. Connor, yep. talk to us about WNE music. What is that? So um, this is the rock, actually. So this is something that we paint um, for events. So WNE music is a club on campus. They're putting on an event this week. Um, but this was actually, this started as a prank in the 60s on the president. Um, and he thought it was funny. So he had it moved over here. They were going to, they were going to put it in his parking spot, but he found out about it before they could do it. Um, <laughs> but funny. now we just use it to paint for all of our events. So the dining hall is right over there. Campus center is right over there. Arts and sciences are right over there. So anyone that's walking in this centralized location on campus can just see whatever events going on. Okay, we're here at the Western New England campus, one of our proud, proud partners in Springfield, Massachusetts. Why you chose WNEU? Uh, I'm doing a master's in engineering management. Um, I chose uh, I chose Western New England University because uh, first preference would be the place, which is, I, I feel is safe and secure in this place. And uh, the college faculty and everything is good. Uh, before I came to the college, I spoke to Andrew Babaji about the college and uh, he explained me very well and the faculty is really good. Um, and the class sizes, you know, the communication with the students and I think the communication between the peers, staff and students is really good. So that, that's, the, that's the difference. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. I'm Shauri. Uh, I'm doing a master's in industrial engineering and it's my third semester here. I work as an international student at uh, admissions department. So we've met like four people yesterday who were already le uh, CEOs of uh, leading industrial companies. Mm -hmm. They can also help us get in in uh, internships, OPT, CPTs and all. <laughs> Hi, this is Paul Said Kumar Kamar Kapu. I'm doing a master's in engineering management and uh, I work in um, uh, events, uh, college events. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit fun in the college. So yeah, it, it's good being uh, in the Western New England University uh, with a healthy atmosphere and uh, supportive management like Ambru Bhavishi. The reason, we, the reason I chose Western New England was um, I, in the beginning I had a meeting with Amber Bhavishi. He explained me everything about the, staff, about the college staff, like the, the lectures and all. The lecture was too good, like the, the faculty was too good. And the knowledge, the, 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 the knowledge was really extreme. So it would really help me grow in my career too. So yeah, and, uh, and the second thing is the place, the Springfield's place, it's really peace, like you know. Not, not not a lot of people here, you know. No such activities, like no. Uh, it's, it's it's really less than a crime rate, and the college. Uh, I like the college atmosphere too. Um, the people interacting here with each other is really good. 
uh, yeah, that that made me choose Western New England very much. Yeah, awesome. and uh, extracurricular activities like you know the gym area, the pool area, um, which are pretty yeah, which uh, which made me attract. I'm I'm a gym guy who, who always who, who's you'll find me uh, most of the time in the gym. If I'm not in a library, you'll find me in the gym most of the time. So yeah, the play the um, the gym area and everything, the extracurricular activities are in, in the Western New England are really good. So that's the reason I chose Western University. Yeah, so this is the campus center. Um, this is kind of like the hub of student activities on campus. Uh, back over there, we have Nick C. We're doing homework or hanging out with friends, whatever you really want to do. Um, if you do ever live off campus in your four years, we have a commuter lounge back there as well, so we can just hang out and live off campus together. Um, back behind over there, we have the Bear Necessities Market, so that's kind of like a food pantry on campus. Um, this is Caldwell Hall. This is a sophomore and up residence hall on campus. Um, all the all the bedrooms on campus are doubles, except with the exception of two buildings. Um, so all the wooden furniture that you see in the room, including that dresser over there, um, and the chairs do come with the room. It doesn't come furnished like this, so this is just so that you can see what it could look like if you were living here. Over there that you can see above the scoreboard, that's mm -hmm. Southwood Hall, that's another upper classroom uh, residence hall. Um, and that is apartment style, so it's either four double room, or sorry, four single rooms and two double rooms. Both buildings have their own laundry facilities, so you don't need to worry about that as well. And then uh, over there is where all of our sports facilities are. So that tan building is the outdoor locker room for any students that play outdoor uh, sports. Over there we have softball field, baseball field, uh, rugby pitch, soccer field, and then uh, the tennis courts, and then obviously uh, Golden Bear Stadium as well, which is a turf field um, that all the other turf uh, athletes can play. Um, it is called the Alumni House and Living Center because when you graduate, your student ID will allow you to come back in this building when you, when you graduate as an alumni. Um, so you basically just get a free, free gym membership when you graduate. Um, we also, as I mentioned before, we have 23 D3 athletics uh, options here. Uh, anything from tennis, swimming, uh, cross, field hockey, football, any, anything like that. So uh, a bunch of opportunities. And the coach's offices are right behind me as well. Gym, this is the regular actual gym. Um, on this side, we have the hardwood floor, so anyone that's like indoor sports like volleyball and basketball can play over here. We have the bleachers that will come out for those games as well. Um, and then back on that side of the curtain, we actually have a synthetic floor inside, so any outdoor athletes can work out over there with cleats on, not scrub the floor, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have the red railing around the top of the gym that you can see, that's seven and a half laps per mile indoor track. Um, so we also don't have a cross uh, track and field team, so if you're going to run up there, you don't have anyone to compete with or make anyone you know, feel bad about yourself. <laughs> um, in the library right now, um, this is where you can rent out your books, you can also study here. It's a lot of activities going on in here, so over there is a circulation desk. You can rent out your books, you can ask any questions about the library, or you can rent you can borrow a study room here as well, just scan the QR code and then you can close the room with all you like. Um, for, final, for finals or any reasons you need, uh, rooms can be small or big, so however many you want. Um, the library is leveled by noise, so on this floor it is speaking level, on the second floor it's listening level, and then on the third floor it's pin drop silent. Special um, video. Yeah, hey so this is, this is a club on campus. Um, so this is our older car. Um, there's actually team, this, there's teams in Brazil, India, uh, Canada, all over Korea, um, all over the place that we compete against. Uh, this is actually our older car, so this is a two-wheel drive car. Um, if you guys want to come into this room back here. They've actually changed the uh, rules this year to go four-wheel drive car instead of a two-wheel drive car. So start of our new one. Uh, we actually do all the tube notching, bending, welding, all that stuff here. Um, just really cool, really good hands-on engineering experience, really good for getting a job off campus. Um, well, there's a whole bunch of events and they add up the point totals from all those, so if you, although if you do well on the endurance, that's the biggest point. Yeah, so this is the uh, mechanical engineering lab. Um, so all the mechanical engineers get to use this space for uh, their lab classes, but also just to do homework or anything like that if they want to in here. We have the wind tunnel over there, the mechanical engineering department uh, that kind of combines electrical and mechanical engineering into one field. Um, also in this building, we have civil engineering lab.